What's good? It's your favorite baby. So today we're going to do the sea moss. The sea moss came in the bag today. It came from Amazon today. So this is the red sea moss from the Atlantic Ocean. So you know, from the Caribbean way. Now, this is my first time actually doing this. This is what they call purple slash reddish sea moss. You can see the sand and stuff on it. I'm not gonna use all of it, guys, but I am gonna use a lot of it. Let's get the smell. Oh, Lord. It smells like some from the sea. So we're gonna probably do like half this bag back up front. We're gonna do like half this bag. Right now we're gonna clean it. Now I do got some also coming from another carrier. I just wanna see the difference and which one I might like the most. So it does smell like some spray from the ocean, that I will say. I'm told that I suppose, so this is what's left. A little bit over half the bag. This is an eight ounce bag. I got it off Amazon. They say red is one of the strongest ones. I'm not sure. I got it off Amazon for $17. I think it was like $17.99. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean it. Okay. So, because right now we see a lot of sand. It's a lot of sand and dirt. So we're gonna clean this, as you can see, kind of water changing, all the little sand. We're gonna make some sea moss gel, but I'm gonna clean it for now. See how it looked so darkish, but now it's changing? Because right now it's dehydrated, and we're gonna hydrate it back. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. Tomorrow is when we're gonna make, the start the form of the gel. But right now, see all that? We want to clean all the sand and dirt off of it right now. So we're just going to clean it. We're going to do this a few times, guys. And then we'll be back before we let it sit to hydrate. So, okay, guys. I want, okay, guys, I want to show you guys real quick. This is what it looks like with all the sand and dust. Huh. So, we're going to clean it two more times. But... I'm going to clean it three or four times, I was told. And then, that's that. But I want you guys to see all the sand and dirt from the first rinse. Okay, I'll be back. Guys, now you see the sea moss. I'm going to show you guys how it looked before. This is how it looked it before. This is how it looked before. And it's dry form. Now that we're starting to get it hydrated, this is how it looks now. So, we didn't wash it all up. It smells a little bit better. It ain't, you know, the best smell or the worst smell now. But it smells way better than what it did at first. Now it's all clean and we're starting the hydrate process. Now we're going to put it in some water. We're going to let it sit for 24 hours and then we will get the process of the gel started but look at this beautiful texture now you see it's like a dark reddish purple they say this is one of the highest grades i'm not sure but we're just gonna give it a try this is my first time we got it clean and hydrated and ready to get started so see you guys tomorrow when it's time for the gel all right guys so all right guys so here's what's going on this is the one that i just blended okay this is the one that sat all night and I blended. This one, on the other hand, is set for like eight hours. Then I tried to blend it, but look, my blender went out. So what I had to do, I had to go to the store and get a new one. But in the midst of me blending it, some of it blended, so I came back, I had to blend this one. Now this one looks like a milkyish green or whatever you would say. Because what happened is, I boiled this one, actually, for maybe five to seven minutes before I actually blended. Now, this one, I just threw in the blender after I cleaned it and all that good stuff, and I blended. This one looks more of a 
reddish, pinkish, purplish thing going on. Remember, it was actually purple, it's red. So this is really interesting. I wonder which one is going to have more minerals because I did boil this one for five or six minutes. And then this one, see how they're two different colors? That is interesting. Sorry it's going to be uploaded late, but you see I had to get a new blender. This one went out. It's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of, whole bunch of, whole bunch of crazy stuff. But I'm going to be back when it's at its normal form. Uh, so this is what it looks like at the end. Is it slimy? I mean, the way they say it's supposed to be. got to look thick, but I think it's an epic fail. Look at this. Still too watery. Man, some of our, uh uh. No. If I gotta put this in my body, honey, it's an epic fail. I'm not eating this. I'm gonna battle one that's already made from Amazon um, on Friday. I'm gonna order that one because they couldn't pay me back. I just reported this to them. So they're gonna have to pay me back. And I should have it back Friday. My $18, $19. And then I just paid extra $5 for the one that's already made. But that one might take a week or two. I'd rather that than put some in my body that might be fake. But I believe this is fake. So it is what it is, guys. You guys see it. It's an epic fail. I'm not putting this in my body because it ain't right. I know how it's supposed to look and this ain't it. So it is what it is. But we're going to get it right. Okay? What's good? It's your favorite BBW back with another workout video. What's good, all my precious girls? So here today, we're going to do a workout video. Okay, so we're just going to talk about what just happened, what you've seen, what was going on. So I brought what I thought was real Irish Spring. Um, I think it's because maybe it one wild growth. I don't know, sea moss. The problem with this um, particular item that I brought from Amazon is it was not correct. That was like jello, and it shouldn't look like that. It should be more like a thicker tone than that. And my thing is, if I'm going to put something in my body, it has to be right. Anytime you should, anytime you consume something, you should be careful what you consume, no matter what it is. You always pay attention to what's going on. If something's not right, don't consume it. Don't put it in your body because it's better safe than sorry. I don't know what was going on with that, um substance that's why i showed you that texture is totally off and i'm not down to take the risk for that absolutely not and then i pay for it at a later time in life no 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 that's what i'm not going to do so i'm just going to purchase it again which is i had a weird feeling about this one anyway but i just wanted to try it plus the reviews on it in the comments was pretty good so i'm like you know what I'm just going to get the one that's already made and brought. That way I would know how the texture exactly should feel. And then I can also make it and then go from there. But I also have another package coming in from Jamaica. Which is they say you want to get it from over, you know, over that way. Over, you know, towards closer to the Atlantic. Over in the Caribbean. You want to get it from the Caribbean is what they said. So I did order one. Um, that should be on its way. But that won't be here until like the 14th or the 15th. So you guys will see that whenever it comes. We'll see how that look and how that go. But anyways, pretty much for my daughter right here, we was doing toe tapping. Yeah, that one was an epic fail. And I was glad that I did get little shots of the footage here and there. So you guys will be able to see what actually was going on and what happened. Because whew, that was such an epic fail. But... I am going to probably purchase, I'm not sure, I might purchase the real, I meant the um, sea moss capsules from um, Dr. Savi's grandson um, or his son because I know I have um, the access to all three of their Instagram page where they have the link to if you want to buy something. The problem is I don't like to do anything that feel like I'm taking medication. I don't like medication at all. I don't like hospitals at all. So if I feel like I'm going to be taking medication or I feel like I'm going to be consuming medication as if a doctor prescribes it or something, 
a lot of times I get, you know, very irritated and don't want to take them. And the one that um, Dr. Sebi's son and grandson and daughter who I see in the breakfast club, that's they have the one where it's a capsule. It's not, they're not, you know, selling the whole actual plant it's in its raw form. They pretty much sell in the same thing, the same sea moss that most people probably use, but they selling it in a capsule form. And that's the only problem I'm having with that because I don't want to feel like I'm taking medication. Because if I feel like I'm taking medication, the odds is I'm not going to take it. I do not like medication at all. You know, so that's the problem with that. The way they got it broken down in the uh, smallest form, I don't really agree with that part. Because, I mean, you should be able to give me the plant, you know, versus telling me, oh, we have capsules. Don't get me wrong. The capsules is not a problem. I just don't like taking anything where I feel like I'm taking medication. You know, I don't like stuff like that. So that's the only issue with that. But moral of the story, everything, you know, is actually pretty similar. It's just some stuff be fake. And I was told you have to be careful because sometimes, sometimes they people sell fake sea moss. And I believe that's pretty much what I got. Or maybe, I don't know. Because I know I did it right. I didn't let it sit out for 12 hours, for 24 hours. It said 4 out of 24, but I did let it sit out for 24 hours. I had a little extra left, and that's the one I boiled for 5 or 6 minutes. Because they say you can also boil it. But either way it go, it just still wasn't. It wasn't right at all. So I had to just throw it away is what I did. That's what I had to do. I did what I had to do. I threw it away. And I... Play yeah, so guys, make sure you guys um, paying attention to when you're buying the sea moss off Amazon or wherever you're buying because there is fake sea moss out here. And the last thing you want to do is consume something that you don't even know what it is because someone wanted to imitate something else and you thought that it was actually real. So you, you, you kind of clogging or messing your body up. And the last thing I want to do it's actually mess myself up much as I actually try to put in work and I'm at the gym. You know, I don't got time to be playing those type of games. So, my whole theory is make sure you guys paying attention. Now, there is one, you know, that uh, it's already made, like I was telling you guys. For like, it's like $25. They already got it made. And then the container is like $25 on Amazon. And that's the one I think I'm going to buy. That one is actually wild growth, 100%. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I might buy that one. Or I might just buy the original, the real um, capsules from Dr. Sebi's grandson. I follow them on Instagram, his grandson and his daughter and his son so I might buy from his son his family um maybe this week yeah maybe I'll buy it this week because what I don't have time for is to keep purchasing the wrong thing oh my god I would be so upset <coughs> excuse me I would be so upset <coughs> so I might purchase the one off Amazon or I might purchase the one from Dr. Sebi's um, family because I do follow them on Instagram I found their um, Instagram information from the interview with the Breakfast Club. So, if you guys want their information, you can get it from there. Go to the Breakfast Club, put it out to save your family, and then you would see them pop up. Um, please make sure you guys are staying hydrated, taking care of yourselves, um, keeping positive energy around you. The energy that you keep around you is very important. I get people who try to slander me all the time for actually working out which is weird like you would think a person who's overweight or what they call morbidly obese myself 
a person's trying to work out and trying to do the right thing, you would think people would, you know, um, encourage it. Don't get me wrong. I get a lot of people trying to encourage it. But at the same time, I get a lot of people who try to, you know, downplay me or say crazy stuff. And ha ha he he. Not that I give a care because I'm a grown woman. I'm 27 years old. I don't got time to be playing games with people. But <clears throat> it's just, it's so crazy and stereotypical. It's like, what do you do? People will still talk crazy about you even when you're doing right. People want to talk bad about you even when you're doing wrong. So it doesn't matter what you do. People want to talk about you. You know, you will talk about a girl that's overweight who's trying to do the right thing and doing what she needs to do. And then you'll talk about her. You know, one man who's actually obese and not doing anything about it and eating all the wrong healthy foods. I don't understand that, you know, and that's the crazy part about it all. It's like, how does that make sense? You know, and that's just what it is. So for me, it's just like, I don't care. Say what you want to say. At the end of the day, I know what's good. I know what's right. I know what I'm doing is right so it is what it is you know um at the end of the day i don't owe anyone no story no explanation of none of that i just feel like people should stop judging people and actually support people or just be or don't say nothing at all like it's crazy that people are so negative and say so happy but you put so much energy in being negative that's why i say it's very important the energy you keep around you because there's a lot of people who put negative energy in this world or want to bring negative energy to you and I promise you it you feed off it you will feed off that energy and that energy it, it could take you under it's not okay to feed off negativity because I'm telling you it makes you feel some type of way or it makes you be a different person and I ain't for all that I don't like the negative energy I don't like the negative vibes I don't like it at all just leave it away from me. Let me be. You know, a lot of people don't agree with what I do. I got some family members. Yes, I have some family members who don't even agree with what I do. And I'm okay with that. Long as they don't say nothing crazy. And then I'll have to block them off social media. Off my social media accounts. But yes, I have family who do not agree with what I do. You know, they don't agree with the recording part. They're like, oh, yeah, you can work out if you want. Listen, to me, I can do what I want. I might record one day, one day I might not record. I do what I want. You don't pay my bills. You don't take care of me. That means you shouldn't be able to tell me what I should and what I shouldn't do. At the end of the day, people is going to say and do what they want to do. Regardless, people are going to say negative things, even if you're doing positive things. People is going to say positive things or negative things no matter what so I mean it is what it is I'm just at a point in my life where I know I need to do and I ain't getting way better than what I used to do so I mean it is what it is and another thing I want people to understand working out is not a one day thing you don't wake up three pounds lighter like that is not healthy you just can't just be thinking that it's okay and healthy to do certain things that people be doing out here like it's not healthy to just be like oh I lost six pounds in two days like how what are you doing because the fastest you lose it guess what the fastest it can come back i'm not into that business i want to lose it and keep it off you know so i'm not in the business of just doing it because it's going to bring numbers down and people are going to i have to realize that i have to realize what am i doing this for am i doing this for health reasons or am i doing this just to get numbers now to just be losing a couple of pounds and well, I'm 10 pounds now in two weeks. Like, that can't be helped because the fastest you lose it, the quicker you can pick it back up. I'm telling you, that is true stuff. So, that's pretty much that. You know, it is what it is. In order to keep a peace of mind and to be, you know, sane, make sure you guys stay humble at all times, at all costs. Don't allow people to get you out of your own comfort zone. Bad energy attracts bad human beings around, and you don't you don't want them. You don't want people with bad energy bringing all that in your space and making you feel different than what you usually do. That ain't what you want. 
Trust me, you don't. So make sure you guys stay positive. Make sure you continue to put positive energy around you. Make sure you're keeping your brain every day calculating doing something. Because if you're not doing something, you're going to find yourself doing something you don't have no business doing or some unhealthy stuff. So the best thing to do is to just stay focused on what you need to do. Make sure you guys are encouraging other people. Make sure you're emotionally encouraging yourself. But just stay positive, you know. Stay positive. People are so negative, you know, and it's sad. It's really sad to me because I feel like you waste all that energy to be set, to be just evil for no reason. Like I have someone on my social media from a fake page inboxing me crazy stuff. Like why have you work out? You just want attention. That's that and that. That is like no, I don't need this. I can work out without court. Trust me, I have did it several times. You know, I went off social media for over four months. Like I don't need this attention. I just want to show people it's possible. And they're capable of doing it. It's a difference. But you know at the same time. People have their own outlooks. And their opinions on things. And that's okay. But I have a problem with people coming on my page. With fake pages. And talking crazy. But you can't even identify who you are. You're under a page. What Like what is wrong with people. Like. Expose yourself since you have so much to say. But that's all I have you guys. Stay blessed. Stay positive. See my